Welcome everybody. Good afternoon. First meeting of August for the trustees in Miami Township. Uh, we were one trustee short, but other than that, we're sponsor, road administrator, zoning inspector, fire chief, ready to go. Uh, we're going to delay the uh, adoption of the minutes of um, July 15th due to the fact that we don't have uh, voting, uh, voting members here this evening. We hopefully will be able to vote on those at our next meeting. Uh, we'll move uh, to pay bills in the amount of uh, $82,640.60. That's like real money. <laughs> General Fund, $4,736.65. Fire fund, um, $28,515.65. Cemetery, $770.35. The EMS building, $19,017.53. Road and Bridge, $79,1438. Uh, uh, last but not least, Capital Project, $3901.26.14. Is there a motion? I move. Approval of payment of bills. Mr. Foster moves. I'll second that. Is there any further discussion regarding payment of these accounts? Any none, may we vote please? Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Mutcher? Yes. Uh, correspondence this period. Um, I need to follow up on this builder's risk that I sent in to see how long that's going to take, but that was submitted. Uh, a copy of the uh, Secretary of State's Certificate of the Incorporation of the newly formed Yellow Springs Community Development Corporation and Community Improvement Corporation. So far. Um, it'll have EPA Citizen Advisory on a Biosolid Storage Pond in a neighboring township. A determination from, uh, or a letter from the Ohio Department of Taxation regarding all the parcels on the 101 1001Z Avenue uh, parcel, and uh, they require uh, before granting tax exemption uh, for the property uh, prior years, I don't know if it's one year or two years, uh, 2017 and uh, I guess 18, um, treasurer's certification that taxes were paid, although the, that was a tax exempt facility at the time, or parcel at the time also, so. There won't be any such certification. Uh, grass Grassroots clippings from the Ohio Township Association uh, for the past month. And yearly annual report from uh, Miami Valley Regional Planning. And somebody let Carol in, please. Um, July edition of Cemetery and, Pre and Cremation. Magazine. That's, that's, uh, that was our last free yeah, That was our last one. Oh, what was that about? Uh, perfect people. Um, month, our bi monthly newsletter from the Green County Council on Aging. Uh, monthly uh, newsletter from the uh, League of Women Voters in the Dayton area. A lovely little letter from uh, Stephen Dillingham, uh, from the director of the U.S. Census Bureau. And I have half a notion to give this little ditty to our <laughs> census uh, representative. Have you seen this? Who's that? Oh, oh that's uh, Trustee Hollister. Um, it's a medical expenditure panel survey, a, a minor 500 questions regarding well, I'd like to look at the, uh, the age and, uh, and the coverage down to the hangnails, I think. All our employees, all our retirees, all our part-times, all our everybody. God. This is not part of the general census. This is <laughs> oh, special. <laughs> Sounds like we're getting that special survey. A reminder from the Green County Community Health Assessment Task Force that uh, their first meeting is Wednesday. And I'm supposed to go to that. Hopefully I will make it. I have a, a meeting right at the same time. 
uh, copy the uh, Zoning Commission minutes of uh, June 18th. Very abbreviated, I must say. It was a 20-minute meeting, I think. Uh, no, it was abbreviated minutes, represented. A copy of the uh, agenda from MDRPC of uh, last week. We'll get to that next time. Um, a letter from a Regional Planning Coordinating Commission, uh, Kent Campbell and Devin Shoemaker, uh, notifying us that in the future, Regional Planning will no longer accept um, residential plat submissions of over 30 parcels that have less than two entry points or entry exit points. Uh, up to this point, there were there had been far too many uh, variances requested for uh, single point entries, and we made an executive decision last month that that was the end of that. So. That's it it took a tornado. It didn't change everybody's mind. Yeah, probably. Um, we haven't had those in Yellow Springs for any size mm -hmm. development for decades. Mm -hmm. uh, a notice from the Yellow Springs News regarding the insert into the guide to Yellow Springs for the Grinnell Mill Foundation, and I responded to that earlier. Um, a notice from West Banco on application disclosures. Uh, on a loan that is in process, but uh, I might just add that it was approved, the loan was approved, and it will be available for disbursement, she says, uh, by the August 31st uh, bid opening deadline. We need to have, we need to have uh, funds available certified by the USDA before they will allow us to accept a uh, award a contract with any of the, the bids that come in on the 21st. Those need to be reviewed and uh, submitted to the D USDA for their approval, their architectural approval by August 27th. So those funds need to be available by the 21st. And uh, our, our banker friend has said that will happen. So we're not actually likely to have to spend them they would just have to be available. Right, yeah. Yeah, they, you know, depending on how things come in, we don't know. Well, or, or that the USDA decides something doesn't, that they won't fund something. <laughs> well, I mean, Don't scare us, don't scare us, come on. <laughs> okay, but I mean, that would be the other possibility, wouldn't it? That the USDA didn't approve of something. I mean, they, they are who are paying, ultimately. Right. Oh, you mean once, once the uh, the bids come in, we have selected a bid, and then send it to the USDA architects for their final review, and they for some reason say no. Yeah, then you would you would actually have to pay it out of your your loan. I can't understand why they're making you take out the loan if there isn't some situation where you would have to use the money. Because. The um, roughly $5 million bid estimate yeah. includes the 350 loan. And so the, the bids come in and they get, they get tabulated, and altogether they can't exceed 10% over the, right. the minimum amount. So if that 350 isn't in there and can committed on the roughly the bid opening date, then the USD will not accept, will not allow us to award any of the bids. Oh, okay. It gives us uh, a cushion. It, it's your contingency. No, the contingency is there's another two hundred eighty-five thousand dollars in addition. Separate from that. Separate. Oh, okay. But we can't include the contingency in the in the bid um, um, percentage. That but, would make it. A, oh, there's 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 some percentage. It's still the USDA doesn't cover for some. We're willing to go higher. We're, yeah, we're, we're, we're okay. We're to the point above. you're willing to go higher, you have to cover. Yeah, that one. Saying it that way makes sense. To me. Yeah, they they lend us five seven five, mm -hmm. and with all our costs, we're going to go. We might go. We might go. Three seventy five over that. Anyway. Got it. Okay. Good. Uh, we got a. Two determinations from the Ohio Department of Taxation and from the uh, Green County Auditor 
for our petition to, uh, or an application to have a, an exemption on real estate taxes for the new, soon to be Oak Grove Cemetery. Uh, however, and the Ohio Department of Taxation has approved our tax exempt status for, for that parcel, but the local auditor has not approved an exemption for paying CAUB recovery recruitment for the for the last three years because for some reason cemeteries do not qualify as a CAUB use or exemption or whatever. So we will end up having to pay somewhere in the amount of one thousand six hundred seven dollars and fifty four cents for the the recruitment for the privilege. Okay, any further correspondence in or out this period? No? Okay, let's move to the fire department. Oh, great. <clears throat> Since the last board meeting, there have been 65 EMS incidents. What? 21 fire incidents and five fire safety inspections. I'm not sure. Yeah, um, wow. Firefighter Tony Cassio has completed his EMT class and passed his National Registry exam, so he's just waiting on a state certification. He'll be running the US EMT. Congratulations to Tony. Yeah, uh, Firefighter EMT uh, Georgia Go, who just recently completed her Firefighter 1 certification, just finished her Firefighter 2 certification at St. Clair. So, congratulations go again. Georgia. And last but not least, Alex Wint has completed the paramedic course at Clark State and has successfully passed his National Registry exam. Well, good for Alex. So. Extra, extra. Yeah. Uh, then you got in your packet, uh, resolution 2019-25, uh, to reclassify uh, Super Firefighter Georgia Code uh, from uh, volunteer to part-time, which would allow her to that one's the part-time first. And she is an EMT. Oh yeah, she's been an EMT for years. Oh, okay. We inherited her as an EMT. So system. she's part by one and two, two. now. Yep. And, and EMT. she has the experience and the important side of things. Mm -hmm. When is she taking over your job? Mm -hmm. uh, about three weeks. I think. So <laughs> it's her next her next thing. So uh, Georgia currently works uh, in the emergency room at children, Dayton Children's. So really? uh -huh. she has a lot of good experience. Yeah. All right, I would entertain a motion to adopt resolution 2019-25. It, I so move. It has been moved in its entirety, whatever it says. Um, <laughs> and I'll second it. Any further discussion regarding this unknown resolution? Uh, hearing none, may we vote, please. Mr. Meacher. Yes. Mr. Hollister. Yes. And then last but not least, I see. tomorrow night, the highlight of the Clifton summer social season. <laughs> Fire Department Ice Cream Social in downtown Clifton at the Shelter House slash Pie Hut. Uh, all are welcome from 6.30 to 8.30 for ice cream, hot dogs, fire engine rides, and maybe all the food. It's really not on how many hot dogs one person can have. Depends on Jason's mood. Well, I commend the department for being able to uh, get reservations on the, uh, the Shelter House at, uh, during the summer. Uh, they contacted us. So it, worked out, it works out very well when the <laughs> village clerk contacts you to say, hey, what are you going to do this so we can get you on the calendar? So, oh, all right. Good job. I'm glad we're doing it. I'm not sure I would say it's the highlight because there's also the August 23rd and 24th Clifton Music Festival. Depends on who you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, actually they passed the resolution. The council saying this is the highlight. <laughs> <laughs> this is the highlight. <laughs> We've got Alex in the pocket. Sure. <laughs> Anyway, but this uh, it's always a fun time. The weather should be nice. Well, warm, but perfect <coughs> for ice cream. Tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, six to eight. Six thirty to eight thirty. Six thirty to eight thirty. Yep. Right in downtown. Was it last year they ran out of hot dogs after the first six or eight people? <laughs> oh, sorry, that was two years ago. Two years ago. Parker asked that question. Yeah, two years ago. Well, we had some repeat customers who just kept coming back. They're good. Well, maybe, yeah, they are. maybe you shouldn't yeah. cook them quite so well or something. I'll talk to Jason about that. But we're boiling that Clifton water, so maybe that's oh. what makes all the difference. But <laughs> Do you have any reason for the unusually high number of, of EMS calls? 
are not unusually high, but steadily increasing? Or um, I wish I could blame it on bad temperature. <laughs> yeah, you can't though. But July was our slowest month so far in that. We only have five calls in Bath Township, mm -hmm. so it's not their fault. Um, I think we just have a lot of sick people here in Miami Township. Sure. Well, we didn't. We haven't had unusual weather, or no. I don't know what else you can attribute we had it to. Had in the last, in the last three weeks since the last meeting, um, two patients have generated nine. Between the two of them, I've generated nine of the calls, Call. yeah, the oh. EMS calls. So uh, that helps. Yeah, that helps. That helps. So you don't want to get too. Well, it has been a three-week period too. Yes, okay, that's weeks. important. Yeah, I can't say any more than that. Yeah, on the non-removals? Uh, no, actually, almost all of them were transports. Really? So it'll be good for the billing. Yeah. <laughs> for the billing side of things, uh, every, almost everything went to Grain and Soy. One or two went to Mercy Springfield. Hill. We took one to Miami Valley Hospital today. Yeah. That was fun to say. Yep. Anything else? That is all. Anything else for the fire department? We missed our. Our chance to display the old forty-one dollars. We didn't have a goal this year. In goes it's a truck show. Oh, oh yeah. I was like, in goes? What are they doing? Goes? Goes. Yeah, was, you know, we were going to try to do it. You know, yeah. We we'll get that sucker up and running. Maybe next year. Yeah. Be kind of cool. Have it up there with all the others. Okay. That would be really nice. We're talking about. Going to the Young's truck show. Take the old 41. Yeah, it was in there once or twice. Years ago. Yeah, years ago. Don Rudolph had it up there. It'd be kind of nice to see it up there again. Yeah. Is it in running order? Not at the moment, but it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't yeah, need sure. a whole bunch of stuff. It doesn't stuff, need right? a whole bunch, but it does need some TLC. A little TLC. Fun drive, truck to drive. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Hit you back. Hit <laughs> <laughs> well, you back. Well, I always the problem. I'm at the right height. You know, it's got a freestanding windshield. And right where I sit is where the top bar is. So you either have to drive like this or like put a telephone book yeah. in. So. Meant for short firefighters. Or it's perfectly for day. <laughs> All right, we'll go to the uh, new firehouse report. Uh, I guess the major report on that is twofold. Uh, all, the, all the advertisements for bids have expired, so that's been done. And we had a pre-bid uh, meeting last Wednesday at the Bryan Center, uh, which was very well attended. Very well. There were over 50 uh, attendees. Uh, most of them were uh, qualified contractors and subcontractors as opposed to, in the past, for some reason, we had people like Vandalia Tool Rental and, uh, and Joe's light bulb supplier came to it. And, so you know, they, they just understood what they could quote to other companies. Yeah. Um, but we passed out, uh, what did we say, around 20 plans? Around 20 plans? Actually, 20 paid. sets went out. Uh, not there. just passed out, but sold. sold. Yeah. yeah. Sold. Um, Where's the money? Well, <laughs> no. Mr. Widener has the money at the moment. I see. But okay, I just asked I'm because sure it's, I'm the fiscal officer. I'm sure it's working its way. It's, it's not made to, out to WDC. They're all made to Miami Township, so you can't cash them. Okay, well, I'll be in touch with it. Uh, there were a lot of good questions. So it was an excellent presentation by uh, uh, Architect Widener as to what the procedure was and who was responsible for what. And um, he, he didn't leave. Didn't leave much to the imagination, I thought. He, bitter, just like he said, bidders cannot say they did not know. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. Everything with a fine tooth comb. Yes. And he made a two volume book. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there they are. He, mm -hmm. he made it very clear that if you, if you were there and did not register and did not pay for the, for the bid package, you were not going to get the bid. You had a bid come in on the 21st, and you weren't on the list. You weren't going to open it. So everybody was uh, uh, aware of what was going on. So I'm looking forward to the 21st at 1 p.m. We leave. Is that right? 1? I think it's 1. Here. I hope they don't all show up. I don't think we can put them on the room. That's true. 
Yeah, we'll we'll we just move the tables out and put the chairs in. What's the fire rate for this room? 49. 49? Well, we could fit. Is that that one person stand outside? Um, oh, we got some AV companies. There's like four AV companies there. Mm -hmm. For a small part of the bid. But yeah. They're all interested. Um, Actually, to find out whether you've got the bid or not, or come to the open, you need one person. Yeah, you sure. You're being hot draws earlier. <laughs> Other than that, there's not that many changes that were made uh, between now and last meeting. Uh, we did have a, a conference call two weekends ago, or two weekends, two Wednesdays ago. Um, but it, it wasn't substantial in, in, in any of the changes. It was just sort of general information about the pre-bid meeting uh, that was coming. So I think we're pretty much locked down to where we're going to be with the um, with the firehouse with that set of drawings and this set of specs. Um, keep our fingers crossed and we'll, we'll get it in. Um, get it in under the 10%. And move along. We have a, a nice uh, groundbreaking on the 18th of se September. And how many shovels have you gotten painted so far? <laughs> You well, haven't told me how many you want. <laughs> we wanted the volunteers to be the. What if we just take one of, like, Dan's front end loader, chrome the bucket, <laughs> and we'll just use that? <laughs> 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 and then you'll be like the fancy loader department, the chromed <laughs> front end loader. Well, I, I could paint your bucket with gold, and it would have to, it wouldn't hold off right very long. You need an area like roughed up and then love cleaned up. Yeah, not really. I mean, we could. That, that's fun. Mm -hmm. We got easier for your. Yeah, but it's just. I tell you right now, you won't stick a shovel in the ground very easily. Not very easily. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but I was thinking we'd have the we bring the E thirty five out, and we'd have we'd have the volunteers ar around it like a little horseshoe, and because there might not it's going to be a Wednesday morning, ten o'clock Wednesday afternoon, whatever it is. Uh, I don't know how many people we can get out there. Oh, maybe we can round up a bunch. It's of a Wednesday. Anyway, so we have them around the, 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 the E35, and then Colin can be in the cab, and, and he can take the first swipe, and then and then we can hit the shovels at the same time, and flash bulbs of plenty, and stars and stripes forever blaring. And I know where we can get a pile of uh, dirt specifically for uh, groundwork. I think we're gonna kind of around around. Around. So do I. Loosen some. Uh, uh, How big the fairgrounds and uh, uh, the uh, uh, They were going to build their station. They actually put a pile of dirt on the fairgrounds. Real It's still sitting there. I would like the chairman to call the business meeting to order. <laughs> okay. That was the fun and games. I'll call it business meeting to order. This is a business meeting. <laughs> Okay, now we're giving everybody the business. Yeah. We need to go to, I wonder if Senior Rentals has PAs to rent. Oh, I'm sure some of those. Yeah. Okay. Well, it just depends how loud you want. Uh, well, you you can borrow them here in town. I want to echo, I mean, the, the sort of the possibly upbeat enthusiasm with this banter is. That meeting really was reassuring and enthusiastic. There was a guy actually who was a shovel contractor too. So. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> it's in the bin. Have to look over the bin list. Twenty-five shovels. <laughs> All right. So we'll continue with the business portion of the meeting. So leave the frivolity to others. And um, that's the perfect time for Richard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would be, wouldn't it? But first, we'll go to the cemetery road. We've had a couple of burials, both in Glen Forest, full burial and ashes. Mm -hmm. at the last meeting, mm -hmm. not real active. But I have sold a bunch of real estate. Yes, you have. <laughs> so a lot of natural. Good market this year. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Kind of glad to see that rolling. Mm -hmm. It hasn't cracked. <laughs> it, uh, that's it. That's all. Gonna we'll pay for that new old growth. Is that going to be like Glen Forest Oak Grove edition or something like that? Okay. Yeah. It'll still be, it won't just be like Oak Grove Cemetery. Cool. 
Um, what else? That's it for me. It's too short. Think of something else. <laughs> uh, they're going to Chip Seal Clifton Cemetery here pretty soon. In the next couple weeks. Yeah. Chip Seal. So. Where'd you get the new gravel for that? We bought it. You did? Yeah. Did you spread it? Yeah. It's already spread out, ready. Yeah. Roll, ready for inches. And I came in under, I only used half the one we bought it. This is backing up, but did we do uh, mutual aid with the uh, Xenia Township when the tornado messed up the Friends Cemetery? In the Friends Cemetery. This is Friends Cemetery, that's all. Nothing I don't remember. I took up the of that big tree down there. But we didn't go out and clean up any of the roads. Do we quantify mutual aid or just sort mm -hmm. of a gentleman's We just we call, we do. Uh, back in the old days, we used to pass uh, resolutions of mutual aid between ourselves and Bath Township, ourselves and Union Township, ourselves and Zeno Township, and yeah. somewhere along the line. So we decided that was too much paperwork. And we wouldn't distinguish between road work and cemetery work. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I like help, seeing you help. pulling out of the Friends Cemetery, mm -hmm. uh, hauling brush. Yeah, we haul brush from there to their place mm -hmm. to clean up any of the roads. You know, you know, we would if they asked. You know, you know. Weren't you know. down cooperating there on Jacoby Road, too? I'm we worked on Jacoby last week, yeah. you know, but they were wedging, we're wedging, you know, we mm -hmm. don't get no wedging there. Because that whole road gets chip sealed, too. So. That's how we roll. Now be sure and keep in mind, next January, when you go to make up the bill for Clifton Cemetery, that in addition to the mowing and the burials, you've got a couple hours here in spreading gravel. Oh. Right? In the general. Yeah. Well, we didn't submit any general work last year. I'm not sure why we didn't they have any general it. work. Huh? They don't pay it. No, well, they did pay it. No, they paid the regular mowing bill and the burials. They never, several no, years ago. Last, the yeah, last year they paid the general. I didn't think I had any full, general on there. Or not last year. Not the one that either has been paid or hasn't been paid. It is, um, I did talk to the, um, the president of the board for um, Green. Green Township, and he said it's on tomorrow night's agenda. <laughs> Whatever. It's coming. I asked, I called. Thank you. Appreciate the follow-up. Yeah, well, I'll follow through. Okay. No problem. And maybe anything else that you did that was outside the scope of barrels and mowing? Sure. Okay. Excellent. Do we do any mutual aid with Green Township? Have we ever crossed the county line? Oh, uh, they, they, they used to borrow a little bit more once in a while, but that was a trade-off for spraying, and so they mm -hmm. don't spray anymore, so they don't... <coughs> If they needed, you know, yeah. Jeff, Jeff needed. You something. wouldn't say no if they asked. Yeah, they for pertains is pretty much on the cemetery. Like, you could have hauled gravel, but he was tied up and couldn't do it. He mm -hmm. do it, but they couldn't. So that's made it work. Okay, let's move to the road report then. Okay, and uh, our wedging is done as of today. So we've got a little couple more things to do, but we'll use cold patch for that. Mm -hmm. Do that tomorrow, and then we'll be ready. So. Um, did you um, get harvesting today? Those Tandard. Back? Tandard. We didn't have anything to harvest. There's one spot that's on the stage in Cold Patch. So that, that bad spot and the bad spot at SNP wasn't going to get done. What did we get done either? Oh, we didn't get done quite a while. I thought you were. Oh, it's just potholes. What's on SNP? There's, there's some pothole. And just, yeah, we were thinking about wedging, but I just want to. Hmm. I've got some Cold Patch out back to use. Yeah. I'll let you do that. There's a few little potholes there. Really. So like this is there. all getting ready for chip and chip seal. seal. Um, so I took a quick peek around uh, yesterday, and it looks like you've got some uh, work to do on your trimming and mowing. Well, that's the next Yeah. Well, I had to get the roads ready. I know. I'm just. 
I'm just saying that, you know. Well, I don't know. I, mean, I should have been out twice by now. Mm -hmm. Uh, it slowed down a whole lot. It slowed down now. Oh, yeah. I couldn't uh, move earlier. When I was on Tobias, I was reminded that the, the catch basin is still on your list somewhere. Right, it's still on my list. Yeah. It wasn't. That's not a high pressure thing, but it will be good. Mm -hmm. We had to get through all the solar stuff first. Give us a little breathing room. And I noticed uh, if you're tired, you must be using that mattress that's sitting out on North River for a. a <laughs> <laughs> what mattress? The one that's on the. On the riverside of the road. It must have came since Thursday or Friday when I was out there. It, it didn't have a use by date on it, so I don't know. I'll take care of it. Is that our job? Um, yeah, we picked that stuff up. And I'm, I'm sure you've noticed, uh, the uh, south exit to the cemetery, Clifton. Pretty old. Yeah. Yeah. It's about that deep. It's, 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 it's not getting in the small. <laughs> no. We need to throw something in there before some, somebody walks into that it's hole. It's on my lid. Is that right yeah. why, don't you close, yeah. why don't you close that exit until you fill it? It's just a hole. I know what it is. <laughs> and I know what could happen if somebody happened to ride their bike into it I'll, or something. I'll fill it tomorrow. We're going to be right there. Well, if it's big enough, you just put the dirt over the side. Listen, that's that. No. I got it. Okay. I knew of it. I right. haven't got there yet. I know, but when you have something that's kind of dangerous, you know, you've got to close okay. that entrance or exit. Take care of it. We have two entrances and uh, exits to that. It's like our new regional planning. <laughs> <laughs> our emergency <laughs> barrier. I like that. We have <laughs> over 30 over 30 parcels in there. That's so true. Qualifies. All right, so Smith, Houston, Bram, Hyde, Splan, Grinnell, Circle, Larkins, Tobias, Harpson, Kyle, North River. We'll all get trimmed and mowed. In the oh, next everything will get trimmed and mowed. In the next everything. few in the next two weeks. few months. Next two weeks. In the next two weeks. Sorry, okay. this week and next week. Maybe a couple days after that. Okay, do me a favor and get a big wrench and go out to the, to the boom mower. And where it attaches onto the frame. And then Make sure those things are check them on before it leaves the building. They're working good. Okay. You spent so much time putting that mower deck back together, why don't you put it on the mower? I will. Get out there and mow. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the roll. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the, the, I don't know, uh, Clifton Cemetery looked really nice. Yeah, I think somebody did a really nice job. They kind of roll my shop this time. Grass slowed down a little bit. Nice, I thought. Mm -hmm. It'll get trimmed for later. Looks good enough for now. Um, I'm gonna take right now. Again. I am. All that stuff that needs to be mowed. All that, all those trees that need to be trimmed. And you're yes, they'll be there when I get here. <laughs> <laughs> they will. That's okay, O'Brien. Sure. What were you saying about Brian Park Road needed? It needs trim. Um, trim. I wanted it's the, been the, I trim. the stretch by the uh, high school forest. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to ask the Glen permission. That I would do the work of cutting honeysuckle. I'd like to open that at up the ground I'd rather like than. Back. I'm scared that you would do some horizontal stuff and it just wouldn't look good right there. I'd like it. Clear that, but I, you know, for a pass up through there, so if there's an old fence in there, it'd be nice to have that. Well, I'll ask a few feet more off the road. Not me. Your son. <laughs> I'll ask the Glen before we do any. I'd work with you. Know, I'd work with him to do something there. Something that would look better than what we It's, doing it's, it's encroached on the road so bad over the years, and if that fence is down, I mean, they could all be taken thing up. It'd be nice for us. Maybe, Easier maybe we can get one of the Glen volunteer days there, but I, so I'll, I'll talk to them about that. Yeah, I can take it back pretty far, but not with that fence and stuff down there. Yeah. I won't get it all that thing. If they want to, I'll, I'll, I'll talk with them. Well, if, you know, if they come and, and cut off the honeysuckle and treat it, then Dan can keep it clear by mowing. If they cut it down low enough so it doesn't flatten the tucker, I'll be happy. 
Can it leave it up? It makes like a, like a pun, pun, what do they call those? Punchy sticks. War. Punchy punchy sticks. Back, yeah. punchy sticks. It does too. It's, it's, it's oh yeah, especially if you cut it at a slight angle. All right, anything else from Rome? Fiscal officer. We have a resolution that I would like to read, if you mind. It's resolution 2019-24, amendment of permanent appropriations. <clears throat> Whereas it is an ongoing process to accurately appropriate funds according to the needs of the township. Now, therefore, the trustees authorize amendments to the following permanent appropriations in the fire fund. We increased tax collection fees by $2,015. In Road and Bridge, we increased tax collection fees by $90. Cemetery, we increased Social Security by $200. And in the EMS billing, we increased training services by $1,000. The Miami Township Trustees authorized the fiscal officer to do so immediately. So we did get a big fat check today. So. I like this. Is there a motion? I shall move. Approved. Two thousand nineteen twenty four. There's a motion. I'll second any further discussion regarding that motion. Hearing none, may we vote, please. Mr. Mutcher. Yes. Mr. Hollister. Yes. And I, we do have in front of us the twenty twenty tax budget. Yes, we do. Did, you? And did we assign a resolution for that um, budget um, adoption? Did we do that? Did we do that? We do. We got to pass it. Um, we have to adopt it. Yeah, right, true. So my, whatever we can. Let's, let's call it 26 then. Right. And, but we're going to have a, another hearing on it, right? Sure. So do well, you, do you usually do the resolution? We are going to do the resolution. This is a, this now, is a okay. uh, special circumstance. Okay. So, uh, it, it, are there any questions uh, regarding? the uh, proposed 2020 budget for us. I went over it and I'm satisfied. Okay. Um, did you say 26, Margaret? Yes, sir. Uh, because uh, Colin's got to do 25, so we're going to entertain a motion to adopt resolution 2019-26, uh, the uh, 2020 budget. I so move. Motion. I'll second. Any further discussion regarding that resolution? Hearing none, may we vote, please? Mr. Hollister? Mr. Mutcher? Yes. Yes. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Ms. Officer? Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Anything else for the fiscal officer? Mm -hmm. Move the zoning inspector report. Okay, again, no no activity permit-wise. Really? Um, no. I'm not even, even talking about any, sometimes there are people that talk about those. Mm -hmm. No, that's, that's uh, on that level, things have been very quiet. Um, two things to report. I was not able to attend the Zoning Commission meeting for July. At that meeting, um, the Zoning Commission continued to gather information about PUDs in general, and in, if, if in discussions that I had, what they are leaning towards uh, scheduling a working session with the trustees, if that's practical, to to express their opinions and what they've learned, and maybe even have at that meeting uh, representatives from you know other organizations that might be able to. Put input into the into the well. The I issue. mentioned the last time that I yeah, you mentioned it coming from regional planning, mm -hmm. uh, and I believe they've actually talked to somebody at regional planning whose name I didn't recognize. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, yeah. So that's that's where that stands. Their next meeting is is the third Tuesday of this month. So that's I don't I. Um, I don't know what what would be a good process for me to present to them for <laughs> scheduling a, a working session with the trustees as opposed to you know coming to a meeting and. Well, I think I'm not. I don't want to speak for everybody, but I would think that we would 
happily attend their meeting. Uh, we'd have to make it a special meeting for, for this board. Right. And, oh, but yeah, it's easy, easy to, to advertise the fact yeah. that all three of you are going to be together and discussing. What do you I think know. about that, Don? Sounds good to me. They meet on? They meet on the, on the third Tuesday at 7 o'clock. Was that a tentative, should I say to them? Yeah, but I don't think it's going to be August. No, yeah, it would have to be okay. September. Mm -hmm. It's not till October that they take off for harvest. So, mm -hmm. so September, does that seem like a distinct possibility? I, I would think so. Okay. Uh, unless we have a conflict. Uh, okay, well, I will make sure that they understand that, and, and we'll see, see what happens from there. Mm -hmm. um, the other, I spent... Actually, I spent about two and a half hours in the prosecutor's office with Elizabeth and Andrew, but I think we only spent 30 minutes actually discussing uh, agritourism and how it may or may not relate to um, community service agrarian's project. But the, what they said is they don't feel that, that it's productive to try to to argue from a legal standpoint what the boundaries are. It's mm -hmm. still too vague. In other words, Agraria sort of said, well, you know, we'd like to know what we can do and what we can't do. And they're saying, no, Agraria needs to propose doing things, mm -hmm. and then they will be evaluated as they happen, or, and if they don't like the evaluation through the, the process, then mm -hmm. they take the next steps. So I need to convey that information mm -hmm. No, well, let me back up a little bit. What I m sort of monitor what's going on with Agraria because I get their newsletter or you know go to their website or whatever, and and it keeps changing from time to time. But there's always something that just seems to me to not quite fit within zoning. So my last effort was to just send them a copy of of our zoning. They're agriculturally zoned. The, the, the new chapter, that, and, and then copies of all the information that's available about agritourism. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, would you <coughs> just take this into consideration each time you, you plan an activity or whatever? And the response was to send to me their volunteer lawyer, who's Laura Curlis, who wanted to say, well, I want to meet with the township's lawyer and talk lawyer to lawyer. I said, well, I don't think that's going to work, but I will talk with the township's lawyer, i.e. the prosecutor's office. And so that's why all of this has happened. And now, so I need to either talk back, I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll tell Laura what took place, but then I think I need to probably schedule another meeting out of the agraria to work out a procedure rather than because the last thing I want to do is, you know, open up their, their their literature and say, "Oh, you're planning to do this? No, you, you know, you want to you you don't want to plan to do something that you can't do." And and that's kind of the way things feel right now mm. to me. So anyway, that's that's my uh, my special project at this time. Any, I don't have anything else. Don, anything for Rachel? No. Thank you. Um, <coughs> new business this evening, I guess. I think we've accomplished it. New business. Mm -hmm. Adopted the budget. Yeah, that's okay. Anything else for the board this evening? <laughs> no. I entertain a motion to adjourn. I vote that we adjourn. Okay, quarter of seven. We are official. Quarter of seven. Oh, quarter of six. Excuse me, quarter of six. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what high five! That was a long meeting, wasn't it? <laughs>